Hey what's up guys, yes it's your main man JB and in this video we're taking a look at this Gorilla Tape. Now I've used lots of different duct tape before but I haven't used the Gorilla range of duct tape. This is the Gorilla Tape Black and it's black because it's coloured black. Uh, you can get Gorilla Tape White, uh, I believe you can get Gorilla Tape Brown and Camo and I think they but I think they start to change slightly as in what you can use them for or what they're ideal for. But this one in particular is just your standard duct tape but it's for the toughest jobs on planet earth and it's extra strong so we're going to uh, check it out right now. So here we go and it will grip smooth rough and uneven surfaces weather resistant shell, incredible strength and double thick adhesive, extra strong. <laughs> now here is an old roll of duct tape that I've had a while now, it's just a very standard um, duct tape, there's nothing special about this at all. But one of the things about duct tape is, is although it's quite strong, and this has got quite a stick on it actually, even though it's very strong and the tensile strength is strong, what makes it great, this kind of tape great, is that you can just rip it very easily like so. You can rip it across the tape and you can also rip it down the length. You can see as I'm doing it on this, it's kind of snagging a bit, making a bit of a mess. But you get the idea that you can actually break it quite easily. Um, by hand, you don't actually need to cut it, not unless you wanted a really kind of straight edge on the cut, but other than that, yeah, it's pretty good stuff, it has plenty of uses. Now this Gorilla Tape does state that you can use it indoors and outdoors, and particularly using it outdoors, it has got this rugged all-weather shell to it. Um, which actually is UV resistant, weather resistant and water resistant. 100% water resistant, I have you know. Oh and it's also temperature resistant, so uh, it would be interesting to see how hot you could actually get this stuff before it starts peeling off. Now look, just before you get too excited, this isn't any kind of scientific test on this and I'm not going to be testing it against other duct tapes, there's plenty of videos out here on YouTube which will compare this to others. At the end of the day if you're just looking for a decent duct tape uh, I'm going to be able to tell you whether this is worth getting or not. So uh, if you're not too bothered about all the others and you just want to check out this one then uh, keep watching. But I might just do a video on a couple of other brands in the future, so look out for them. But yeah, all we're looking for, look, is it strong? Can you rip it? Does it stick really well? And that's about it really, so uh, let's get on with it. Now this Gorilla Tape does come in various widths and lengths, and as you can see here, I have got the 32 meter by 48 millimeter wide. Um, I think price wise, this cost me about £11, something like that, um, but for half of this, I think the, the length was something like, I don't know, 20, no, not even 20, about 15 metres, it was about £7, so I thought, you know what, you get absolutely loads more if you spend a little bit more and get the bigger version if you see what I'm saying but anyway this will, this will hopefully last a while so having a look at it on the outside look, you can see the texture you can see um, you know that it looks quite strong I don't know can you see that it's got quite a quite a nice kind of smooth finish to it right then let's have a go peeling a bit of this off and you can see that's quite sticky just pulling that off of there. If we have a look at this standard duct tape, comes off quite easy, almost like sellotape. But this, you really can tell that <coughs> that's a lot stickier. There we go, it comes off a lot easier once you've got a bit, nice bit to pull on, but there we go. 
feels quite sticky. Let's see how well this rips. Look at that, nice and straight. That's a real nice straight cut that is, isn't it? So that's nice. And often you get those sort of strands of material coming off as well, don't you? But that is a really nice cut by hand. Look at that, that's perfect. So it's feeling quite sticky on my fingers. Now one of the things I like to do, I'm not that I like to do, I haven't got some weird kind of fetish with tape, but actually sticking the tape together like this, and I haven't even applied a lot of pressure, a lot. I've literally just tapped it together like so, and then trying to pull it apart, you can really see, I've hardly pushed that together. And look at what it's done to the back of the tape there. That really has stuck to each other, hasn't it? So, pretty sticky when you stick it against each other. But we'll see how sticky it is once we start sticking it to something else. So we'll try sticking this to something really smooth, something semi-smooth, and something rough smooth. <laughs> um, what I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with a bit of timber. This is probably smooth to semi-smooth, or smooth, but it's, uh, it is textured, textured, it's timber, so it is going to be uh, um, slightly textured. Tear a bit of this off, and what we'll do, we'll stick that onto there. I'm going to apply a bit of force this time because I really want it to stick. See how it comes off? Well it, it does come off and actually it stays really sticky. So it does come off if you peel it off this way but what's going to be interesting is to see if we can actually pull it off this way at all and there's absolutely no way you can pull it off that way but there's no way that's going to shift at all and even if I take it off some no it's not happening so that sticks really well to timber as you can see and then you know you can pull it off it will come off but it's really sticky still and that just sticks straight back down again so how about something rough then and uh, you can't get much rougher than this brick well you can but there's only so much roughness you can go with don't want to start sticking it to the road I mean I could go outside and see how well it sticks to the road but so here we go like that on there. Now this is dust free. Obviously if you've got a dusty surface tape isn't going to stick because the dust is going to stick straight to the adhesive and it won't actually give you any sticking power. But already <laughs> that really has stuck well. I mean in terms of it just sticking down it's It has stuck to it, look at that. That really has stuck to it. Quite easy to come off and look, yeah, it is going to pull off some of the brick, but in terms of tensile strength and stickiness on the brick, that's pretty good. Yeah, take that off of there and look, kind of lost its stickiness to a degree now. Whereas take it off the wood, and that is still quite sticky. Stick it to each other, and it sticks really good. Right, next we're going to try a really smooth surface. So I've got this bit of cardboard and it's got a really shiny surface on it as you can see if I can just get that in the light there we go very shiny surface so let's have a go 
putting a bit on here. Surprised actually how well it comes off of the roll. It obviously doesn't stick to this really, really well, otherwise you just wouldn't be able to get it off. So let's put that, let's put a piece on there, just like that. And again, obviously, you're not going to be able to pull that off that way. You can peel it off this way. You can see it's really quite tough to come off. Let's just try and stick that down a little bit more again. Obviously it's ripping away the laminated part of the cardboard. And when it's pulling it off it's almost blistering the underneath here. Oh, okay, that bit came off quite easy, but it's still super sticky. And there's just no way that's going to pull off. No. So next up, a bit of tensile strength. I've got a bit of timber up here. I've wrapped the Gorilla Tape around it and stuck it to each other just to here. So from this point downwards, it is just single tape. So what I'm going to do is just bring that down a bit, probably to about there. I'm going to put this bit of timber right about here, do the same thing, and stick it to itself. Now, I'm not sure I'm happy about getting underneath this and hanging on it. But, there is a bit of stretch in it, if you include the bits where I've overhung it, that's about a metre long and you could probably, I'm probably moving it about an inch there, maybe a little bit less, but anyway, I've got some weights, I mean that's five kilos, got another two five kilos here and here. So there's 15 kilos for you, and uh, it's looking pretty good. I'm not going to go any more than that, I don't want it to crash down, I don't want to end up breaking my toe, but there's certainly a lot of strength in that tape, that's for sure. This is no science channel, you've probably established that already, but that really is strong and I just don't know what would happen if I put well okay do so there you go <laughs> that's what happened there you go <laughs> it can take 15 kilos no problem but with five kilos and me pulling down on it <laughs> It did break, it's always going to break, but that's pretty tough. Right, I've got a job in the garden, which hopefully this will be perfect for. So these poor old garden chairs are starting to age and break apart now, although they're really good, they've got a good metal frame, and I think eventually I want to put a piece of plywood or something on here, but at the moment, it's starting to break through, and if anyone rather heavy sits on it, I think it's going to completely go, so uh, let's stick a bit of this on there. Sorted. The tray in my fridge has 
broken. Now I will get a new one, but in the meantime, I'm going to use a bit of this. It just means I can't put anything in there, it just falls out every time. So I'm going to put a little bit of this in here, or on here. already that's pulled up lovely. Let's put another bit on the bottom. Once this Gorilla Tape has stuck to the surface that you're sticking it to, it's uh, completely waterproof so it's not coming off as you can see and it just repels the water. And if you get a little bit of water on the tape, you can shake it off and it doesn't lose its tackiness. However, if it does get soaked with water and you wipe it as well, then it loses its tackiness straight away. So uh, you gotta discard it then. So there you go, there's your Gorilla Tape Black. I'm quite liking this to be honest, and uh, this is certainly gonna come in handy for all sorts of jobs, that's for sure. The only thing that you need to be a little bit careful of with tapes like this is that this edge here does get a little bit sticky. So you start putting it down on dusty, hairy, nasty places and you're gonna end up with that being a bit dirty. But uh, other than that, fantastic, I like it. Well, I hope you found this video interesting and if you've got any interesting comments or questions yourself, then uh, why don't you leave those in the comments box below. Please show your support by hitting that like button. That would be absolutely amazing. And uh, go ahead and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Cool, man. I'm done. See you on the next video.